when you were a little boy, you had to wear shorts and long stockings too, right? Right. We could wear shorts if it were warm enough, and we could wear knickers if it was winter. But in either case, we had long stockings, like the English, like the British people do. And uh, knickers are just like golf wear, you know, mm -hmm. just below the knee. But we were not allowed to wear long trousers until we were at least 11. Mm -hmm. And when I was about nine, living on Main Street in Massachusetts, somebody gave me a pair of long pants. I was thrilled. <laughs> but I was forewarned by my mother and daddy that I would not be wearing them until I was 11. Well, I couldn't wait for 11. And it was a cold winter day, deep snow, and I somehow got into the basement and I changed clothes and I put on those long pants. Well, I walked through the snow with those very light summer pants. And I got them all wet. And uh, all day long I was just freezing cold. And finally I got home and I was taken down with pneumonia. Oh. 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 A real case of a pneumonia. I can remember now Aunt Margaret was taking care of me. She was living with us. And uh, I've never forgotten of that, of course, because I did something that I wasn't supposed to do. <laughs> now, God forgives sin but he doesn't eliminate the consequences, <clears throat> usually. Very rarely does he remove the consequences. So I had to go through a learning process. But I learned a lesson. <laughs> if I'm going through the snow, I better be walking on my hands. 